my my uh, my idea in the field of digitality is not really big. Um, I throw away my computer when I was very young, uh, like the students here. And um, if you would be in Berlin, you would hear a big crash on the street. This was my first reaction to the computer. And um, I was very disappointed that people started to sit behind something instead of talking with me. And um, so I'm totally, I'm totally a person who wants action and who want really together with people. And I saw the computer as an enemy of my wish to have life experiences with other people, to really come in touch. You know? So when I was studying uh, choreography uh, at the Ernst Busch, it was in the same way there. I felt that people were hiding behind something which they call the contemporary art, contemporary dance, which means that they no really move themselves. They were standing and apparently this is the new art. Then something was happened because I was more coming from the improvisation side, which means that I had the possibility to combine it with contemporary. And now, or already for 10 years, we were in the situation that we combine that was abstract dance was uh, talking about and contemporary styles and improvisation styles. So for me it's always important that something really is happen. But I didn't only does, uh, dance, I was uh, quite interesting in producing something. Producing events which changed the mind, which opened new abilities to look to the world. Um, so for me, it was not really important to, to call me artist. It was not important to be uh, famous with a, with a typical style or with a typical technique. For me, it was more important that the things which I do are totally close to myself and to my intentions. And in that way, I did a lot of, uh, a lot of different products. <laughs> At least uh, you can call me perhaps artistic uh, project leader. And this is a new business, I realized. Nearly everybody today is an artistic project leader in the field of culture. And I was quite fascinated in when I understood that this is uh, how it is. At least what I want um, to discuss today is it's nearly a summarize of what we already got through today. You can say I'm the perfect, uh, I'm the perfect person to say goodbye for today and only to eat or to sleep. Um, so everything that we talked about, we already talked about. Um, so while we were studying, I write in my text. Um, I prepared a little bit uh, this. Oh, this looks good. Only leave it in the way. I fix the next okay. step. Thank you. Um, so. Yes, uh, I have this one with me, and I have some musicians, you already know, who uh, decided to help me, uh, which I think is quite wonderful. And you know, we talked a lot about organic today. <laughs> and, uh, I have this in my car. Okay, Papillona. Uh, I will explain for you later what it means for me, the name. I want now that you open your Facebook, please. We already worked with uh, mobiles. Please open your Facebook and meet me in the group which is called for, which I opened for you, which I created for you for now already, it's already prepared. And this group is Organic Leadership in the Digital Age. So if you can meet me there, and I will not start with something, if you're not, everybody has to be my friend now. And then you can go away again, but, but now I need you. We are so, friends already. Yes, but, but not in the group. So uh, I, I want to be friend in the group, because there are some tests in this 
with a speech and you have to do something. So now silence. We learned a lot about it. You are my man. This is really great. This is my water. Only that we are clear about that. But I love children. This is my water. And this is my sand. And then you can play. Okay. Um, silence. <laughs> Cannot read it. It's still in. Oh, we What should happen now is that you are on the Facebook site and that you can write what you are thinking. You can perhaps do it without that I open the Facebook site to so people who want. It means that we have sent a documentation about what I am talking about. It means that you manifest your thoughts. Because right now I feel that we are not in an interaction. We are totally too, too tight. We're totally waiting of the moment where this situation will be ended. to say how you feel right now? Because I'm tired. Because we are not friends on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> there might be a reason for that. <laughs> I cannot accept your question like, because I cannot come in. <laughs> so I have to work out and this was the idea that we have two screens. Okay. But it takes too much time. Okay? You get the idea ahead? Okay. <laughs> well, let's continue. What is leadership? <clears throat> How would you define leadership? Leadership is not a privilege or a status, as some people believe. 
The YouTube is a responsibility to create proactivity and structure. While the goal should be motivated by sustainability. This can be important by thinking about what's coming next. Project leadership is the ability to create a journey for actions. The characteristics of project leaderships are, and now I think you can define yourself in it, that you will define a goal, a specific motivation why you want to do something, a time and a place structure, A work moments, structures and requirements, rules, responsibilities in a team, and you will define a budget. Every artist is doing that. Every single time when you are leaving your house and you want to buy something, you become a project leader. And all these movements, all these moments are inclusive. And with a project plan, this fact makes us to lead us in our lives. So, while we're planning, we are living. Without planning something, we have no life. In the first moment we are coming on earth, we have a plan deep in us. And when we rise up, we become aware about that we can show what our plan is with our life. If we have luck. Already when we have the plan to come from R to B to my mother, we have a plan. We are born as project leaders but we are not aware about it. People call it intuition, that you do things and you not really know why you are doing that. I think you are a victim if you only, only think that everything you do, you do by intuition. I think you can plan quite a lot. So, if leadership style is a lifestyle, it means that you express by your decisions and how you do things, how you do things. How do you create a project and how you communicate in the project? For example, you create life. I have a problem that so many people produce things and show their stuff. And I don't know why they're doing that. And I don't know how they produce that. I don't know the money which is lying behind. And I don't know the collaborations they did. In principle, I don't know something about it at all. Because this is life. How will we do it? So what makes it sense for me only to see the product? I'm not a consumator. I don't need that. I really want to be engaged, not only with the research, perhaps already in the process. And they think we have to work out what this means in time of digitality. You can think about what I told you right now and identify with it. And I love dirtiness. I really do.
So we all are leaders. Sing nicely. Which are visible through your working structures as well as through your experiences of the audience you create. This is our topic today, I guess. And you kind of project leadership as a profession artist, curator, or mother. This creates a specific kind of communication. I want to discuss two types of leadership, which define as digital and organic stuff. Or sterility versus dirty life. Now it's your decision. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes or no? Raise a hand for yes. yes. Thank you. <laughs> and I know it's really, I really have to be a little bit faster. Uh, I was not supposed that it would be like that. Um, organic leadership, what I mean with that, characteristics of organic leadership are thinking in organic transformative structures. It means the, the, the opposite and mechanical. <coughs> it's exactly what some of you already described. You are organic. Yeah. Compassion is a big value. Because if I am if I have the weakness to be organic, I can be destroyed. Awareness about the own organic existence in an organic environment. An organization is an organic living body. If you don't feel like that, it's the wrong organization. If you can change something, authenticity coupled with responsibility. I know who I am. I know I cannot always be who I am. Sometimes, perhaps, I have to change my behavior in a context. Time is a value, not an enemy. I cannot always fight against the time. Time is a positive factor. You can use it. Social media are used to provoke equal participation of each person in the group. Digital communication is used to provoke participation rather than organization. What I mean with that is that you don't only send away a mail to organize your life and to make it easier, your work, to facilitate it. Send a mail away only to say, it's lovely to have you in the team. Today the sun is shining. Mates are impacted used to solve problems. With a, with a moment of distance, it can be that you forget. You would never show it to your partner in the team in the same way like you showed through a mail. A lot of people are shouting. They, they say to me, where are you? And then they come, eight. <laughs> you know? And I'm sending them, whoa. It's enough with one. It's not just be asking, thank you. This is organic. 
Proactivity defines a leader for actions, not of people. I'm the leader of action, not the leader for those people. The team needs physical to share even happiness. What I see in organizations when I record to Germany or to films in Sweden and they want me to mediate the problems they have, I ask them, where was the last time where you sit together and gather a little bit? Where was the last time that you not meet to solve problems or to meet not to talk about problems, where you really made something positive, activity? One thing, you know, this is good for us. We want to do that together. When, when was the last time that you did that? We have not the time for that. No, but you spend three hours per day to solve problems in the team. You have time when you have a problem. I see organizations with a reason of digitality who not have the ability to talk anymore in a normal way. They only meet physical when it's already too late. Yes. So this is for me, for me organic leadership, and this is digital leadership. When you ignore the organic structure or processes and communication partners, thinking in mechanistic structures. At least digitality is clean. And I make it very fast now. <coughs> yes. I I can close my intellectual performance. And you can think about that. If this has an impact of how we learn when we can not only lie into it what does it mean when I have now an iPhone here or here it's not working you know you are not liberated to work in the space as you use when you are a little child when you are only carrying electronic stuff on your body. I think sometimes you have to throw away or everything 
which we use in the daily life, which means that we are not free to move as we used when we were little children. This is the one thing, and the other thing is that I love my iPhone. <laughs> and I deal with that. Thank you so much. <laughs>